Cool. Um, so yeah, so welcome to our second and final UK Games Expo uh, stream. This is the, the final thing we'll be doing all weekend, which is uh, pretty cool. We're so happy to have you guys uh, dining in. Mandy, obviously from the, the States. You have uh, Emma from Canada. the Netherlands. Like, Canada. Canada. Canada, sorry. Oh my gosh. No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't, like, do you know what? I have family in Canada and I make that mistake with them all the time, so help help, help me out a little bit. Um, but yes, we, thank you so ben much. The, the pink, uh, do you know what? Yeah, I, I can I start agree. with the pink cow as a handicap for, for what I've just done, if, if that makes sense, right? Let's, let's okay. do that. Because I'm playing too and I, I want these points, so uh, yeah. Um, so we are going to be playing Herd Mentality, a brand new party game out this year. Um, the box is very fuzzy, it feels beautiful. If you guys have your copy and you haven't already rubbed it, then uh, you don't know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> the aim of this game is to be answering and thinking like the herd and answering in the majority. Uh, you'll score points if you do, and you won't if you don't. Uh, we'll go through the proper rules in a moment, but I just want to kind of get everyone to, to go around and tell us a bit about what you do, how your experience at UK Games Expo has been, and anything you want to plug. Now I'm going to go, do a little round screen, Robin, so we've got Emma, your first top left. So, Emma, introduce yourself. What have you got for us? Just taking a sip of the water. Perfect. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Emma. I am doing the Pointless Parrot podcast, uh, which has a bunch of people from the board game industry as guests, but we kind of don't really talk about board games, but about them as persons. <laughs> <laughs> and um, apart from that, I'm streaming live on Twitch uh, every Monday and Thursdays, and I make a bunch of random videos. That's kind of pointless me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the segue into the pointless bit. We love your videos. They are always good fun. So yeah. you're, it's a joy to have you here. So thank you very much for coming. Uh, who we got next? Ross, top right of our screen. Tell us about yourself. Hey, yeah, my name's Ross. Uh, I'm a freelance photographer in the board game industry. Uh, I also work as community manager for Alicat Games, who you might know for Dice Hospital. <clears throat> I also Twitch stream. Um, so my first kind of like taste of Twitch was with Big Potato in their old offices uh, back in the day, January last year. Um, and so I, uh, I stream uh, as well. I play board games on a weekly basis on there. And uh, what else? I don't know. I'm all over the internet. You'll, you'll find me. <laughs> yes, we will. Uh, I remember that stream very well. I, like, did I realize? Uh, did I mention that you'd done a hundred streams the other day? Or was that something I dreamt up? Uh, that, no, that's something that that, that that is true. That is true. Hundred streams. So, what in what time frame is that? I feel like that's really this year. So, um, so a hundred this year. That's nuts. That's, that's crazy. But well done. That's a, that is that is certainly a number. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, so, Mandy from Canada, not the states. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Canadian as part of the main team on the Dice Tower, so it is a common mistake that? that people think I'm American, so it's totally fine. Uh, but you've probably seen me a lot on social media. Um, I'm with the Dice Tower, and I do the Dice Tower podcast with Suzanne Sheldon. We also have a show called Aptastic, where we play apps or you know games that are on Steam, and we play those head-to-head -head every couple of weeks. We also have a new show that we're kind of trying to promote. It's Live Reviews. So we have a kind of a sub-channel called Salt and Sass. Yes, I am the salt. Suzanne is the sass. <laughs> and we do live reviews, so that's on Sundays. We try to do those every second Sunday. Additionally, I have my own channel, To Die For Games, and that's been around for a while, and I do uh, video reviews and discussions on that channel. I think I've covered it. That's probably enough anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. And so is this all on top of a full-time job, or is this, this is it now? This is... Oh, no, no, I'm a full-time teacher, so yes, all oh. that, plus my teaching job. <laughs> wow. Is this probably the one thing that I've noticed in this industry a lot. People do so, so much, and yeah. then they have what we have to consider as a, as a day job, but this stuff is so encompassing, it's so, like, on all the time, so big respect for, for, for doing that. <laughs> um, lastly, but definitely not least, Russ, tell us about yourself. Um, hi, uh, so my name's Russell, um, I have a website called For Chits and Giggles, um, we do sort of various content, um, we do sort of reviews and, and started to do new video content, but a new thing I've been doing is um, streaming on Twitch, uh, and I've been doing a lot of solo playthroughs on there. Um, I'd like to go back to sort of multiplayer playthroughs of games, but obviously something is getting in the way of that right now. Mm. Um, but I've also um, got a job as a, a manager of a board game cafe in London as well, so 
um, yeah, like the Chitsing Giggles, and I'm on various platforms. If you search for something, I'm probably on it somewhere, even <laughs> if I don't use them all that much. <laughs> awesome. And how, how have you guys found it, like, with the with the board game cafe? I know that obviously you big part of your, your life is that board game cafe, and obviously it's taken a big hit. Like, is that any closer to being a, a, a reality again, like? Um, we're open, and mm-hmm. um, we're, we're doing okay, you know. It's been a bit of a weird sort of journey, um, <laughs> Because uh, we 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 were a bit sort of like worried about the business when it happened, but now we've opened, and obviously it's still a bit weird because you know you can't have that many people in it. But it's been doing really well, um, and so hopefully you know you know it'll be around for a long time yet. So yeah, I'm really thankful for that. Good, 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 awesome. Um, well, as yeah, said, so thank you guys so much for for joining us. Um, we're gonna go into kind of how this game is played now. Like all of our games, super super simple, uh, easy to play, quick to learn. Uh, and we're going to go through the, the rules right now. So, basically, the aim of the game uh, in herd mentality uh, is to think like the herd and you'll score points for doing so if you can answer within the majority. So sometimes you're going to have to put your own opinions aside, uh, as hurtful as that may be sometimes, and I promise it will, uh, to try and answer like the majority. Um, obviously, we've got people from all walks of life here, so our answers are definitely going to be different at some point, but how do we, how do we co- combat that? So easy example we can give is I will ask everyone a question you've all got your whiteboards if you want to just show everybody excellent cool so we will we will use that so that everyone can see and hear at the same time so I'll ask a question something simple like name Tom Hanks best film now what we would all do here is try and think not what your own is not what your favorite Tom Hanks film is um, but what everyone in this room we can have a quick example go actually so don't say anything out loud I'm gonna write. Hey, I'm gonna write Ross answer. Already wrote one down. Has he? Is he? He's already done it. I know. <laughs> I know it. Well, let's have a look. I. Oh gosh, how to read this room? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, I let me know because it looks like it's the wrong way round on my screen. So if it doesn't make sense, I can. <laughs> and unless you've written backwards, we'll be okay. We're we're flipping it. For... People will just have to have a mirror next to that, <laughs> yeah. so they can look in the mirror for Russ's answer. I like I like how you think yours yeah, is going to be back to front, but no one else's is. <laughs> so I could actually just put it in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a reveal at the same time. So for Wait. the purpose of this, oh no! Yeah, okay. There yeah. we go. What we got here? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, three people with Forrest Gump. Uh, we have a Toy Story and we have Joe versus the Volcano. Okay, come on, that was Ross. Good choice. That would have been my first choice. Good choice. It would have been your first choice if it was what is your favourite. The reveal is pre pre the video. I, I chose Big and Mandy, Mandy as the example, chose Joe versus the Volcano. And I was it's like, just so random. Mandy will be now. She'll be thinking as this example, Russell's. Russell, I love that you're already playing a meta but game, Ross. Ben did Forrest Gump, so that's why. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Here's so the smart players. Like, yeah, maybe, true. Like, oh, I'll go on the random choice that no one else is going to make. <laughs> so, it, so in that example, we had Forrest, uh, Forrest Gump was the majority. So myself, Mandy and Emma uh, each would have scored a point. Um, you two, uh, both, well, actually, because you both had a unique answer, no, neither of you gets the cow. If, for example, Ross had said Forrest Gump and Russ had said uh, whatever you said, Toy Story, you would have landed yourself the pink cow because it's a... Uh, a unique answer that no one else is on their own. You then wouldn't be able to win the game until that pink cow was gone. And that is it. It's as simple as that. It's, did my words read the right way? Do you know what? Yes. They did, apparently. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. Okay. So well, basically, your screens uh, are mirrored for me. Right. So they're backwards to me, but on my other camera, mine's flipped. We're, okay. so, we're so technologically, technologically <laughs> clear as a bar. There crazy. we go. What a word. Okay. okay, so that's it. So I'm going to keep score. I've got some beautiful little cow tokens, which look like this. We have... Is that on that camera? Well. Oh no, I took off the... Three. Oh no, it's all going. What's ah. happened? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Emma, thanks for trying to show the, show the world what I've got here as well. So we have a paddock with loads of cow tokens in. And that's how we'll keep score. Uh, and I'll give a running running score trick as we go through. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. I love how like these cows have like different like yes, <laughs> I love this one. Cool glasses. And yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, cool. Let's do it then. Uh, so I I've literally just grabbed the deck from the box. Okay. So uh, these Ready. are all random. We don't know what they are. Just First one. Ready. Ready. Name a word beginning with Z or Z for the yeah. Canadian. <laughs> and maybe... <laughs> the Canadian okay. say Z or Z. 
either. I hope this is good. Right, don't reveal just yet. Keep them secret. Okay, I wrote it way too fast. That's why I'm concerned. <laughs> All right. These two are kind of linked. All right, let's do let's do a slow reveal to start with. I'm gonna pick okay. Emma. Go first. What have we got? A zebra. Um, okay, solid choice. Ross, let's have a look. What you've got? The zoo. Interesting. Mandy. Also zoo. Ooh. Oh no. Ross. <laughs> zoo. Oh. Yeah. So, depending on what I do here, depends on whether Emma gets the pink cow or not. So if I put zoo, then you're gonna get the pink cow. If I put zebra. So we don't. So it's fine. So the pink, the pink cow is safe, but points to Mandy, Ross, and Ross. What do you say? I've only heard South Africans say zebra. Uh, yes. Yeah, zebra. Yeah, we're zebra. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's just me, zebra. <laughs> uh, cool. I think I also say, like in Dutch, it's, it's of course more close to the zebra. Zebra. Oh, there you go. Okay. We'll learn. Every day is a school day. Cool. <laughs> It's the weekend for her. Yeah, true. Sorry, sorry, Sunday buddy. school. Okay. You're not teaching her. Don't worry about it. Fair enough. All right then. So you roll a die. What number do you get? Uh, and I, I will, mean, I will have no questions on what type of die it's here. Oh, that's up to you. Uh, uh, anything. Okay, is it what I get? Cause, okay, well, you know what? I'll just go with the yeah. Oh, I, I want to put aside my own. Save it for after. I've got I've gone for kudos points here. Are we ready? Let's all reveal yep. together. You ready, Emma? Three, yes, two, yeah. one. Let's go. A one, a three, a six, a six, and a twenty. <laughs> 20 oh. but I almost wrote one, because I always roll one. <laughs> a three is nice in the middle of a D6, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to know your theory behind the three. Did you think everyone would be like, oh six is too high, one's too yes. one's, one's too low? Right that three sounds like a nice middle number. <laughs> I was thinking everyone's like, everyone's like, it's an optimistic roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the like, highest value. Much like Ben's chosen a 20 <laughs> on a D20. Like. If you knew how many 20s I've rolled in my lifetime, Ross, honestly, can't stop me rolling them. Uh, so, was it Russ and Ross both with six? So, that is a point for you two and not for us. Again, there was no, there were three unique answers, but not on their own. So, no pink cow just okay. yet. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next question. <laughs> Are we, yeah, it is. It is safe with me. Okay, how many days would have to pass before you wouldn't eat leftover pizza? So how many days has that pizza got to be sitting in your fridge or on the side until you're like, nah, do you know what? That's going in the bin. That's so hard. It's also, it's like, it's how much people are going to judge me. Oh, uh, do you know <laughs> what? This this <laughs> is a judgment-free zone, but the internet isn't, unfortunately. But this, this we're safe here. Correct answer, or do I want to give the, like, less yeah. than <laughs> right. Dog. The number is going to be the day you're not eating it anymore. So after yeah. that number well, of days, to give a clue, to this give a clue, I'd crazy. rather this said weeks, but I obviously can't put weeks this. So. <laughs> 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 All right. I I have eaten out of the bin on two separate occasions in my <laughs> my own house, uh, and I'll, I will explain in just a moment. All right. Okay. How many, how many days does food have to be in the bin? Before ben will eat out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna answer that in just a second. All right, okay. So, has everyone put a number? Yeah. All right. So this is less shameful. We'll all reveal at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh gosh, I'm out. Just, just out. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how I'm sitting here eating out of a bin, and you're still going with five-day-old pizza. So. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. So, who's that points for? We got points for Emma, Russ, and Ross. Mm. Look at that! Dang it. Running away, <laughs> Ross and Russ running away with the points. I'm yet to score. I know. I'm yet to score. That's not fair. I'm um, worried so, about that pink cow. It doesn't matter how I do. If I get that pink cow. That's my concern. <laughs> right. So, I feel like I need to explain my bin story. Uh, the last. Please, please, please do. The last time I ate out of a bin, it was. Say, so my defence, it was still in its packet. Like, it was open packet, but thrown in the bin. I was like, do you know what? Diet starts, like, now. Like, this food's got to go. It was leftover food. I can't remember who it was. I think it was, like, chocolate. I'd put it in the bin, and within an hour, I was in that bin going, do you know what? I might as well finish these and then start. So that was... That's not 
terrible. It's like, no. the, you know, the... Right? Second rule that kids do. It wasn't like it wasn't like soup that you'd like. Pull nah. Like, you know what? That soup's only gonna get it's like it's gonna get tastier with all of that bin flavor mixed exactly. together. I'm just gonna season yeah. it. Yeah. In fact, in, paddle in a couple of couple of mouthfuls. Like, what uh, I did was actually like, quite sanitary, so I'm okay with it. That, right? <laughs> so there yeah, you like go. It was just on top. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't think I'd put anything else in that bin afterwards. Okay. So it was, it, was, it was basically like a warm he fridge. He clearly doesn't care what else went in that bin. He just remembered <laughs> yeah. those, those nice chocolatey good snacks. I think they snacks. were <laughs> Snack Bite Twirls, which I don't know why I threw away in the first place, because they're beautiful. But anyway. That's you're only human, Ben. You're exactly. only human. That's there true. There you go. You're all that. Okay, enough about my personal life. Uh, next question. <laughs> what is the most annoying genre of music? Ooh. I'm gonna get in trouble for this one, I'm sure. Oh no! Who by? Who's gonna tell you off? Just the community. I don't know what people are gonna write. This could get. Really... I think I'm, I'm good, and you know why? Because you're all Europeans. So. <laughs> 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 if, you if you put Eurovision, if you put Eurovision on your board. <laughs> all right, cool. Has everyone written one? Um, we all got one. Sorry, I, this, is when it, this, for this, this is when we'll discover that one of us is in a band playing this particular. <laughs> no. no. All right. Annoying, that's right? Answer, so I'm gonna go no, with. there are two that two ways I feel this could go, but I almost want to put a slash next to mine, but we'll do it. Right. All right. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Emma's. Uh, Emma's still thinking. Uh, hey, eyes down. Eyes down. Eyes down. That's what I should have written. Dang it! I, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take a cow because oh well, it doesn't, didn't really matter if I wrote like country or like anything baby shark. It was all baby <laughs> shark. No, baby no one's shark. scoring points here. There's no one. The genre so, of baby shark. Now, yeah. <laughs> I was going to put dance sla slash trance, but I didn't. So, uh, <gasps> I, yeah. I love trance. I, I, see, I couldn't tell the difference. So I feel like it's the same that was music, a right? Back in the day, so you know. Uh, okay. Just, what what happened to your raving shoes? Did you put them away? <laughs> So I would have been fine with anything I wrote down, so it's fine. It's nil, nil poire. That was a tough one. A tough I think one. it's really interesting that we all disagreed. That yeah, was, yeah. That's, that's, that's me too. Nice. I for that's sure nice. thought it was going to be consistent. Actually. I'm just so glad metal and pop weren't there because that, that's kind of me to a T, and that's it. <laughs> so. But pop then that's the pop band. Yes, I am Some a pop boy. I like metal. A lot of kind of music. Like I could yeah. listen to almost anything except Dutch. To be fair, crap, like, we did say no. annoying. Well, you can still like dance music, but still find yeah. it annoying. Who knows? But, yeah, that's true. If it's too much of something sometimes, you know? Exactly. Mm. Or the All beat right. doesn't drop. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just left, left pre-climax. It's not good. Yeah, exactly. Come on. That's like trance a little bit, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, can we all name something waterproof? Mm. Oh, oh, uh... Tough one. Oh, I gotta this think about this one. Because <laughs> I know what I want to write, but none of you will write this. Um, oh, really? Ugh. I feel like I can't think of anything else as obvious as the one that I'm thinking of. In fact, right? I can think of. But I feel like mine is obvious to me and not to anybody else. Mandy, I, 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 I feel like we're gonna think okay, of Oh, no, I, I, I can't read anyone here. I cannot read. I need eyes. Ross, give me your eyes. Glasses like, off, eyes, I need them. Are you stealing my eyes? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I've seen into your soul, I've seen into your soul and okay, I am... I'm hoping Russ and I are the same page. If not, it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be either really different or, like, exactly the same. Right. I've, I've read into <laughs> we'll, to, we'll to, to Ross's head. Oh, this is going to be funny. This is going to be... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be the, the one on the... Um, we just had a, a polite request from yeah. Tech. Uh, Russ, can you turn your microphone up just a wee tad? Uh, Not yes, Ross, Russ. There we go. Cool. Me, uh, Excellent. Let me just check that. Okay. Well, let's let's have a reveal. I can do it. Don't worry. I can do it. If I just, how's that? Perfect. Well done. Is that better? No, much better. Mm. Okay. Cool. You all ready? Let's do it. Yeah. No! I literally rubbed duck off. No! I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Okay, so I have this running, oh, not man. a running joke, but me and my partner. Any of those other things? I, I didn't come to me at all. On one of our first dates, I said how waterproof ducks were, and I just got <laughs> laughed at and rinsed. She's like, they're not waterproof. I was like, they are waterproof. And I crossed it out <laughs> and put umbrella, and I'm so upset with myself. Did, was it, was it, did anyone. I'm the pink cow. <laughs> I, I would I would have written umbrella. That's the thing that I thought, like, waterproof, rain. Yeah. Rain's but, wet, right? You know, at first, but didn't write it. I don't know why. <laughs> so there was no point. Sorry, but it would be bad for 
submarine to not be waterproof. This is true. <laughs> this is so true. Sense. That is true. All right. I feel like I feel like we need a good 50-50 one to get some points yeah. on the board, but yeah. I, I'm not going to fix. Just this flowing here. This this is definitely not a 50-50 one. Um, I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't think the same thing as as Mandy, but well, oh. me too. I remember I told you though it was going to be either real, exactly the same yeah. or like so different. Can I can I just at least check that mine was as weird and obvious yes. for you as it was as yours was? Different? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're we're good. We're, we're good. good. We're good. All right, so I think there's points here. There's points okay. for a few people. Can we name an animal beginning with P? An animal beginning with uh. P? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. There we go. I'm, re I'm reading this wrong. I drew one as well. Me too! <laughs> oh, I'm doing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it, this finish. is a this is a terrible drawing, but yeah, it's fine. mine too. It looks stunned and surprised. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Everyone got something? Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, what we got? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Emma! I should have known. Yeah, Russ, I'm completely disappointed. <laughs> to be fair, that is my <laughs> first <laughs> point, like, so I'm gonna take here. it. Can we just check out the artwork? Yeah, definitely. Go for it. Where's... That? That's amazing. Yeah. Yours is so detailed, Wendy. It's amazing. You know what? That is like the one thing as a kid that I drew a lot of, so I just got really good at doing it fast. So I, I'm going to do a... Like, mine looks a bit like a bear. It's, <laughs> no, it's a good pig. Nose, it's the it looks like the Angry Birds pig. One thing that we can pig. say based on this is that we'd all have a dynamite game of scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm using a scroll board as my whiteboard, actually, as we say it. So, a quick, a quick scores on the doors... Um, mm -hmm. In in the lead is Ross with four points. Jeez Louise! Wow. Russ in second I'm, with I, three. That's the only reason I'm here. If I go into if I if I'm not first, I'm gonna throw this whiteboard <laughs> in the air. I want to see Ross put his head crazy. through the whiteboard by the end of the game. Uh, so Russ, you're sitting second with three, and I won't embarrass the rest of us. <laughs> I've got two. You are you are keeping score well. You have two, but me and Mandy only have one. So we're, we're, it's I was, okay. We can have a comeback. <laughs> Here, yes, let's do it. it. That's right. All right. Can we name a rapper? Just generally a rapper? Name a rapper. Not a chocolate rapper. We're talking... I mean, it's how you interpret that question. <laughs> exactly, like a rapper. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. I'm going to show you my... And this is going to be different because of parts of the world. I'm curious. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm gonna. Go I'm, I'm showing. Well, too. I'm like showing I'm both the oldest one here, though, age honest. and my lack of culture here. I'm so so sorry. <laughs> All right. I don't. <sighs> I teach kids. Well, well, I used to teach kids, right? So I'm 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 hip. I'm down. I'm down with these guys. <laughs> oh, All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh, he's had a change of heart. <laughs> Was it Mandy's comment that made you change your mind? I mean, me and Mandy have not matched answers yet, so I'm no! not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Russ and I. <laughs> I don't right. think so this time. Uh, All right, I'm going to yeah. name and shame. I want Russ to go first. I want to see what Russ has put. All right, I did classic Jay Z. Classic Jay Z. Okay. Uh, okay. Emma, what are you? Answer. What are you going to follow with? Jay Z. Emma. Uh, Ross. Emma. I think I've got a chance with you, Ross. I think I've got a chance. Jay Z. Mandy? Oh no. Oh, that's okay. That's a good one as well, yeah. <laughs> There's an app that's on my list as well. I had a song in my head, that's why. Oh, well. I originally wrote Dr. Dre and I was like, Dr. Dre's not released an album in like 15 years. Like, seriously? I'm at the forefront. Yeah, well done. Right. So was that Ross, Ross and Emma with Jay Z? Jeez Louise. Wowzers. Flying. I'm absolutely really bad flying. At these games, by the way, unless you know me really well, I think like the weirdest answer. <laughs> I, I, I just thought of another one that was like super popular that I thought somebody would have written, yeah. like Kanye. Kanye, he oh, counts. Oh, didn't even get it to my mind for some reason. No, me neither. Uh, if think, you said like, who wants to be a president, then maybe yeah, would have written Kanye. I, I, I nearly went with a Canadian. I nearly went with Drake, but I, I went... Oh yeah, he's went, Canadian, so now I feel really bad that yeah, I didn't think Drake. You, you <laughs> fucked up, Mandy. <laughs> 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 All right, what's next? What is the smallest thing you can think of? 
Mm. Me, oh, yeah, I'm definitely not getting any copies of this. Um, uh, Let me nerd being just nerd. Yeah, yeah. How, how nerdy is this? Is this... Oh, sugar. Oh. I'm gonna go mainstream nerd. Oh, 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 oh is that... I might have to rub out my answer me. now. That's like... Oh, sure. I, need, I, I need a minute. I need a minute. Oh. I know it's not. I can't say. <laughs> yeah, but you say it could be anything, right? The anything. smallest thing okay. you can think of. Yeah. Be that what it will. <laughs> this is oddly specific, but okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Should we have a group reveal? <laughs> sure. I really yes. hope we've got at least some science in here. Yeah. Yes. Oh wow. gosh, I Russ. Nucleus. <laughs> I knew. I knew you put nucleus, Russ. I knew it. A I grain of rice. Was, oh, man. Like, I know it's not the smallest thing, because I think a dwarf is even smaller or something, but I was like, I've got one step up. In my mind, I thought, Russ, you were small. thinking like potato, and you just wanted to clarify you knew a potato wasn't the smallest <laughs> thing. Oh, Mandy, I, like, a grain of rice in real life terms that you can physically touch, a grain of rice is pretty small. Um, and Russ, uh, nucleus. I really, I, I love the fair, it's science-y. <laughs> I just had it, I just, for some reason, I knew that Russ had more science terms in him than he wanted to let on, but Nucleus <laughs> is still, still up there, right? <laughs> for me, I was, I was, I was like, it was like, you can, I was like, you can start talking about, like, going really into, like, atomic structure, and I was like, this is, too, no. A I'm micro, nano, that, right? something or other. Oh, gosh. This guy did, and I, I, that's, not, that's the game, though, isn't it? I should have gone up to what I thought most people would have known. Um, we still actually haven't had a, a cow. Um, at the come out at the moment, which is which is Still quite rare. This is, we're, we're just so awesome. this is so good. All right, a bear runs at you. What do you do? <laughs> okay, I have a very specific answer, but okay. But is it a specific answer I might put too? Well, that's it's, it, and I don't know. Oh, okay. it, 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 let's say if this answer's four paragraphs long. Right, my like, exactly. <laughs> the gist has to be the same. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I feel like I know the real answer. Yeah. But I, I'm I know doubting what... myself. Well, I mean, I've come in contact with a bear. I live in like the woods. Oh, like in physical yeah. contact. Like, did you? I punched punch, punch the no. bear. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, no revealing like answers. To bird. <laughs> no revealing answers for God. If Mandy's wrote fist bump, then that's that's not on. Can you imagine? Well, look, my hands are here. I haven't changed my answer, so I I will not uh, gain from that. Mine is like, yeah, better. Yeah, I, All right. I don't know. Let's Maybe. have a look then. Uh, Emma, can you show us what you've got? Let's see. Stay calm. <laughs> That's wow. That's what you'd have to do, right? <laughs> I first wrote something completely different. That's the opposite, but. <laughs> All right. I, well, was that... draw I was drawing. People were wondering why I was doing that. I was drawing. Ross, <laughs> right, okay, Ross, you and I are going to reveal at the same time. Who? But not. Me, yeah, me, me and you, you, but not now. We, I, I'm confident. Uh, Mandy, yes, what have you got? <laughs> Up and down, mate, that's enough. I wrote that on screen I, first. I read that closer. like a song, like jump up and down, and like, <laughs> like it was some sort of nursery exactly. rhyme. Like. <laughs> doesn't, that, doesn't that depend on what kind of bear it is? <laughs> sure, I'm talking about the one that I came in contact with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Russ, what about you? All right, I did play dead. Play dead? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow. S oh no, we'll see. Anyway, Ross, you and I are gonna reveal at the same time. Three, uh, two, <laughs> one. Please tell me it's a poo. No, no. I'm oh. Not. <laughs> is that, is that like all unique? But it's literally yeah. being uh, so calm and smiley. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, hello. And I'm like, oh. wow. I, I genuinely I'm thought when you said you'd drawn, I was like, I've got I it. I don't speak bad. I don't know if it's being friendly. <laughs> So I think they say that you're like running is stupid because they are so much right, faster than you and they're just going to murder you. I think playing dead is also not the good way to go either. So I think I, I, I thought saw... about changing it afterwards. It's meant to be like calmly walk back. Like I don't yeah, know. you want to make yourself as big as possible, make yeah. lots of of noise. Yeah. Because if you play dead, have you seen the Revenant? Yes, yes, that's uh, yeah, but he quite scary. Yeah, that film, so... Yeah, barely. <laughs> Spoilers. I think I... No, I meant that attack. Did I... you see okay. that video of a kid that was like, 
being followed by a bear, but he was just walking very calmly yeah. away. Oh, That's God. why I was like, oh, maybe staying calm and something. I would not have yeah. those nerves. I've, I've heard that throwing something, like if you've got a backpack, yeah. if you lob that, then they're, yeah. more, they're likely to go investigate it. Whether you want right. to go back and collect it at a later date, it's fine. Yeah, but sure. <laughs> yeah. I Nobody's want that back. 27 hours with Carl Drum. <laughs> Throw that in there. Right. I mean, that's an extreme response. Yes. If you're like, quick, let's uh, get the pen knife out. The, yes. the, <laughs> the idea was to keep my limbs. Here, have an arm. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to have some big group answers here. What's okay. the best song by the band Queen? I still haven't decided this myself. It's hard. Okay. It is hard. I feel... What? I, mean, I have a favourite. Queen's like my mom's favourite band ever. Yeah? Yes. I, um, you know, Mandy's saying that as obviously a huge fan, and I feel like I want to try, but I don't know if it's going to be the majority. So I'm going to well, go with... I'm gonna I, go just, with... I have a favourite, but I don't <sighs> think it'll be a favourite. This, this is a perfect example yes, of putting your own after. opinion aside and I, being I, like, I've right. actually drawn a complete mental blank. I can only think of one song left. <laughs> <laughs> so many, I had to like narrow down the list. They've got three greatest hits albums, which is all you need to know about how many hits they have. I thought yeah, you were going to argue question. that they only had three Ooh, see, hits. See, that then. doesn't really count. I can't really do that one. Okay. All right. Maybe we can get Ross to pink out now. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's maybe. What I'm worried about. I'm worried about. It doesn't matter what I do. And he's in the lead as well, so this would hurt him. Are we ready? All revealed yeah. together? Let's do it. Oh, boho rap, boho rap. Whoa, the pink cow, and don't stop me now. Somebody to love, I love. Somebody to love. Somebody to love, fantastic song. One of my favorites, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's what I was thinking, but I guess I got the pink cow going. You do, and if you, uh, we've actually. It's all listen that you picked a very good one. I'm like, the one I was trying to remember, I was like, what's that one that's on the Cadbury's advert in the UK where they're all driving the little vehicles and that's cut? Don't Stop Me Now, which I couldn't think of. It's what? Which the last, dead as well. Oh, the yes, with the pool cues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's no, it's the, um, iconic. It's in, the, in the pub. Yes. Doing the, like, with, uh, with the snooker cues. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Pool cues. That's <laughs> the one. I, I love the song. It's not Queen, but I was like, I still love it under pressure. Oh, but yeah. It's really, yeah, Freddie Mercury and David Bowie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Great song. It's a cheat. Well done. So we have our first pink cow. So on the actual screen that everyone else can see, there's a little <laughs> giffy cow next to your face. Ross, so. <laughs> you are it. Well, you're the first. You're the oh, first. On you dropped point. it in my screen, Ross. You dropped your cow and yeah. Ross. I love it. Like, <laughs> oh, 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 cool. I, um, I, was t I was. That was rehearsed. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't. I just tried dropping it. I didn't know where his screen was. I just thought maybe it would go towards like him. Magic, magic fingers. All right, so not to alarm anyone, but uh, Ross is sitting on a nice seven points. Uh, uh, Ross, Ross with four, Emma with five, uh, Mandy with two. Oh no, uh, yeah, three. Sorry, and three for Emma as well. So okay. there we go. Are you on Ben? Uh, I'm on five. Which is, no, oh, you said five. Seriously left out. Oh no, it's sugar, that's. Three, oh no, right? that's not me. I thought I was on five. I'm on three. Emma's on five. Oh, I, got, okay. I got my piles. Right. I got my piles. Control shot. of the scores, but doesn't mean you can like sneak. <laughs> well, I kind of can, but that's not Everyone me. Ross. You can count them all up on the the visual. Two, <laughs> two extra points for hosting, right? Of course. <laughs> I got to put up with you lot. You've got to be here. It's, it's, that's why I get points. I've actually I, I've I've expressed this theory before. Second place is my favourite. So if I can come second. Yeah. I will be happier than any one of you yeah, in this room. So this is. That's why I love playing two-player games with Ben. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. If you could win one, which would you choose? An Oscar, an Olympic gold, or a Nobel Prize? Mm. So you've got mm. room for one in your trophy cabinet. Is it going to be an Oscar, an Olympic gold, or a Nobel Prize? Oh. Seeing as I'm not going to win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home, right? I, I've, I've put in an application to win all three of these and I've never won one. I don't understand what's happening. Is that how it works? You just submit a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I put a picture oh, of my okay. face and like, I want to win this and no, no one's got back to me. It's not working. All right. I haven't written anything yet. So those okay. of you are poised ready, I need to I need to think what everyone else has thought. I think you have to be um, Twitter verified. I think that's why you're not. Um, oh, sugar. Oh, sugar, that's sugar, sugar. sugar. Uh, need that blue tick. All right, and then I can have my Nobel Prize, Olympic gold, and yes. Oscar. Excellent. All three, yeah. All right, are we all ready? Yes. Yes. Let's have a look. What we got? 
Oh. <laughs> so that's, we we. That's good. Everyone that, everyone picked right. <laughs> everyone picks right, and we do have our our winner, which is is oh, Ross. Ross. Oh, really? The, yeah, you yeah. got that was your oh, eighth wow. point, and I can't believe you got it with a lie. You don't want to win a Nobel Prize. I've I've seen you training. <laughs> I've seen you training for the for the Oscars. Sits there in front of his win. mirror. And he, he reads lines all day long. Um, so yeah, that was it. Eight points. We can do a couple more questions if you guys like from Play for Funsies. Now we've crowned our winner. I would totally be up for that. Yeah? yeah Let's do it. Let's do a few no more rounds. Oh, I see. This is gravy, right? <laughs> yeah, Relax. I've been gripping the table real tight this whole time. Well, I, I'm going to play... I'm going to play a new game and I'm going to see how many times I can get to pink cow. Every time there's been a question, I've, I've got a group chat and I've texted 30 other people to see what the kind of average record is. <laughs> calculated it. A little graph going on. The worst thing about it is I'm in that group chat and I'm still getting no points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Which is the hardest month of the year to spell? Oh. Oh. I've gotten French for a minute there. Hold on. <laughs> Do you speak French Canadian as well? Oui, je parle français. Oh, oui. <laughs> uh, C'est magnifique. <laughs> I don't know. My friend this is, is where, from. This, this is where you prove it by misspelling it. Yeah, yeah, right exactly. Um, this guy, I'm going to spell it right. Gonna... Really? But mind you, all months, majority of the months in French are, can be difficult. <laughs> all right, yeah. I, uh, I have a friend from uh, oh, yeah, Quebec. The, the French ones are a bit weird, but I think I could spell all the French ones. Yeah, I definitely could not. Uh, avec, les, yeah. avec les accents? Oh. With no accents? Uh, with the accents, that's tricky. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> that's like when you said uh, February. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah that's how you say it, right? <laughs> February? <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad to know that, that was, I was on the right page for this one. I tell you what, that's what we can play until I lose the pink cow. Yeah? All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Challenge accepted. Oh. All right, are we ready? This I started one. writing October because for me it's like the instead of the C, it's a K in Dutch. See, so yeah, ah. you think it's the, another language sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, which is an additional challenge that's it's worth pointing out if you think in multi bilingual or multilingual, and these games can bring in a whole new element. Well, yeah, just, actually, that's uh, very true, and this would actually be really great in my French group. And mm. is this when you say French group? Is this your French teaching group or you're just French? Social yeah, groups. I have to keep a certain level of uh, French proficiency at work. Oh, cool. So I have a group where we play games in French and things like that just to kind of, you know, keep that going. So something like this would be fun, but we're still learning. Nice. <laughs> well, I hope this one I feel like there's, there are so many. Uh, I'm going to ask you to name a type of hat. And I just, I'm stuck mm. on one that nothing, no, none of you are going to put, which is... Oh, okay, a type Tough. of hat. I gotta think about this. Type it's a good thing hat. you're not seeing the back of my room because I, col I have a lot of, of hats. Of hats. Yeah. <laughs> I have a hat right there up the closet as well. But I'm trying to pick because something. Oh, oh man. There's okay, I'll write this because I think it's a good one. I. My gut was telling. I was thinking of one, but then I changed my mind last minute and I'm gonna go rogue because I'm, I'm only get the pink cow anyway. So. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping that your rogue is my my answer too. So. I'm no going with with what I with what I want. To <laughs> the the hat I've got here, I can imagine Ross rocking really really You'd well. You'd be so mad if the one I was gonna write somebody writes because it's so out there. <laughs> All right, let's All do right, it. I'm ready. Reveal. <laughs> almost wrote Emma. Fedora. Fedora Emma. was. I wrote first Fedora. I was actually thinking top hat is what I was thinking. Were you? Right? <laughs> I was thinking like change. <laughs> I, I, I live in Ottawa. I live in Ottawa, which is like baseball cap central. Oh. So I should have picked that. I was going to write baseball oh, cap, right. but then I was Look like, at that. Like, that is a beautiful hat. There we go. Yeah, now, I had to write it, but I knew it was not going to be. I was, I was worried. Band, I had Fedora, and I'm like, no one's going to write Fedora. <laughs> and, <yeah. laughs> so I was worried that if I wrote cap, people would disqualify that as a hat but it's definitely a hat but i don't know it's not one that it's like i don't know i just I... my first thought was fez and i was fez. like a fez oh, gosh. <laughs> has anyone here worn like a fez the... before is that like the shriners hat yeah. it's the like the, the red yeah with the red yeah yeah that's it all right now this one's close to my heart because oh. the kit the kitchen is my uh 
domain. What's your favorite kitchen utensil? Ooh, I like this one. Me too. Although I don't think anyone will pick it, but you know what? <laughs> Let's give her. Annoyingly, right. I, I have, I genuinely have my favorite utensil in my house that I will put any amount of money on. It's better than any utensil that any of you guys own, and I love it, and I will be buried this with it. This is the it. real competition. I will be buried with it, I promise you. So what do you say? Okay. So any kitchen utensil, right? Yes. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, 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 I think this is the one that I think people, the most people think is the best yeah. thing in their kitchen. <sighs> I don't know if that, that's literally just the that, whole game. That but. is the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's just describing the game. I was just filling the time. So, so for those of you who have just joined us, Ross has learnt how to play the game now. Are we ready? I think so. All right, I've gone with a very no humble spin. Oh. You almost ran that way. I don't even have. I don't even have a blender. I don't even have one. What? Why are you writing blender? So actually, it was the second choice, though. I I would I would also good, argue a, that a blender goes into. Sorry, let's rewind. <laughs> it's gonna get buried with a spoon. No, 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 no. This isn't my favourite. This is what I thought everyone is. Because this, you can use a spoon as a knife. You can use a spoon as a fork, whoa, whoa, and you can whoa, use whoa, a spoon whoa. as a spoon. You can use a spoon as a knife. <laughs> yes. What's the knife for then? You just—it's got an edge. How do you cut your cheesecake if you've got a How spoon? How do you cut steak with a spoon? Well, I'm not eating steak with a spoon. A spork, maybe. <laughs> Either way, I feel that's the most. Well, I do like a spork. <laughs> I do too. All right, I reckon what's we'll do. What's the utensil you wanna? You, oh. You're gonna get the beer right? <laughs> okay, with. so I have a red uh, potato. Pe well, just a peeler in general. Yeah. It has got the most comfortable handle. It's made by a company called, I think, Oxo. Uh, Oxo, Oxo, and oh, okay. it is beautiful. I love it. And if anyone tries, to, if anyone robbed my house, the first thing I would do is make sure that that was Straight where it was. Yeah, I'd be like, right, where is it? Where is my, where is my peanut? But anyway, push your TV out. Next push your TV out the way onto the floor. And push <laughs> into the kitchen to check if the spoon. Are you okay? <laughs> What is a pastry cutter? Is oh, is it like bake? a? That, that, I, I, I had a, I was a baker for, for a while, oh. and so I and like a whisk was thinking, but I was like nobody else is gonna. See, bake. and that's exactly that. You see, you nailed it. I do bake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna propose we do uh, three more questions. Okay. Uh, and do we want to keep score on those three to have a second winner and, and leave Ross as our main winner? Okay. Yeah, Ross can't win anymore. We need a we need a new champion. I am the champion. <laughs> the world. All right. Yes. So all points are now now done. We're playing for the last three. Okay. Uh, we're going to reset the pink cow. So Ross, you okay. you've been relieved nice. <laughs> for now. Okay. If you had to choose one part of your body to let a wasp sting you, where would it be? So this wasp is like, look, I'm coming to get you, but I'm giving you the choice. It's mm. going to hurt, but where do you okay. want it? Where do you want it? Wasp. Ugh. I don't like wasps. I don't like wasps, neither. Where do I want to be stung? Oh. Where oh. do you want it to sting you? <laughs> I need, oh. Okay, I think that's a good one. I don't really know. Right, you're like, I don't want it to sting yeah. me at all. Yeah, I like, oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, I, I, it's a very, very I keep forgetting there are other people playing, and I'm just like, yep, yeah, this is my answer. I'm going to get a point, but that's not how it works. <laughs> I think you answer is mine. Right? Okay, is everyone everyone confident? Okay, an answer. I know, I'm thinking where I have tattoos, I'm thinking where I have piercings, I'm thinking of all of these things while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, okay. don't want to ruin those. Okay, is everyone ready? Yeah. And let's reveal. Oh, everyone's different. And then I was so close to writing that, but I was like, I was gonna write butt. I was gonna write butt, but I thought I'm gonna get stung on the butt. I'm I right. that. Well, okay. So basically, I have quite a big butt, and I feel like <laughs> of all the places on my body that I'll be like, do you know what? It's fine. Like, yeah, you've got to sit on it, but it's quite, it's quite fatty. It's quite fine. It's all right. But if it's somewhere like, I've I've been stung in the palm of my hand, <sighs> and it, it it barely hurt at all. Like, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a really good location to choose because the skin's really thick. Well, it's thick, and then I figured I'd 
bigger it's not because i have tattoos and stuff you don't see them but um you would never get anything like a piercing or tattoo in a cre- in a crevice so yes. like a, a knee or a, you know something like that and i figured the hand's the less likely thing to get rubbed on or something so did we have so any I, answers I the same there? I was thinking no about answers. this was like, where, if I'm going to be scratching it because it's going to be itchy or painful, like where's right. an inconspicuous place to scratch? And I, oh, that's yeah. why I didn't put butt, because I was like, if you're scratching your butt all day... But you can almost, you can well. scratch your butt on the seat. Just because I'm sitting down all day anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you won't see it. <laughs> smart, smart all right. That is very smart. Uh, this is one for the, for the stinkies amongst us. How many days... Do you think you could go without washing before people started to notice? How many can you, days? Can you yeah. repeat it again, Ben? Sorry, yeah. I didn't quite catch it. So how many days do you think you could go without washing before people started to notice? Oh, but it's not about me. It's not about it's me. It's not about me. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> how smelly do I think all of you are? Yes, right? this is true. Or how smelly do I think all of you think all of us are? <laughs> yes. What the levels this? It's a meta. It's a proper meta <laughs> game, this one. I'm pretty... I mean, I'm just going to go with what I actually think, not what you... <laughs> I don't care about you, look. I'll put what I want. Me. Especially with Ben. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I just, like, made a mess here. I mean, I don't know. You're talking to somebody who showers, like, twice a day plus. Oh. <laughs> oh, it depends where you live as well. Imagine if someone here was from Florida or something. Yeah. Yeah, that would be... That'd be rough. <sighs> All right. Okay, and I just, I'm going to caveat this with, this is not how often I would leave myself unwashed. Yeah. This is, this is, this is the answer. Oh, great, this is going to be massive. <laughs> Seven I'm weeks. No, it's, <laughs> let's have a look. Two, oh, wow. two, two, me with three, the four. four days. Ross, remind me never to go camping with you. Ross knows. <laughs> so, that is points for Emma, Russ, and myself. There we go. Uh, and we got one more question. Oh boy! Although the last one didn't have any points, so maybe we do two. We'll see. All right. No. Name name something that normally comes in threes. Something that comes in Three. threes. Threes, not in trees. Really threes. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not scoring. Anyways, like, come on. <laughs> oh man, I need to think about it. this. I'm not. I, I actually genuinely can't think of anything. Yeah, I, I have same. a good one, and I don't know. Actually, we'll see if anyone catches this. We'll see. Right. I've really, got I something am... which is very fitting. I literally can't think of anything. This it's is probably not be good for points. wrong, like wrong brain uh, thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I've got my one point. So even if I don't get one now, I feel like I've, I've saved myself. Yeah, I, I'm still on that zero train, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it. And um, are we all ready? Russ is seriously thinking. Like, what's going on? I yeah. genuinely can't think of anything that comes in a three. I'm looking out my window. I'm like, what? Is there anything? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, no. I'm really struggling here. Like, what, what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the first thing that I, that I think of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down. Think yeah. of something. Actually, I do have another one for you. I don't want to give you any help, okay? I won't say anything. <laughs> Man, I'm slowing the street, the, 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 the video down. Um, it's it's oh, all good. Dark. Try anything down. Yeah. What, what is? What? I can't see anything. <laughs> what I feel like that is a couple, but like. No, that's what it says in the rules. Right, you got to mirror people. No. 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 This is the only thing. Thank you, Ross, for the reading the rules. That I can think of. I you got one. I, this is correct, but. All right. Okay. Right. Oh, yes. oh, <laughs> Bad luck. So here we are, here we are. Board games always come in a box. Yes. With a game and instructions. It's a f- three stuff. Like, it's not what it wants. <laughs> <what it's laughs> That's really funny. I love a band. Farts. Yeah. So normally, <laughs> it only comes as one like if you're in, like, private. Yes. But when you're, if you're holding That's them in, like, they come in threes, so right? That's literally, that came in, like, right at the last second. That's so good. Yeah, I didn't think anyone was going to get mine at all. But I... Anybody, so I'm part Portuguese, my parents are from the Caribbean, they 100% will understand this. Bad luck, it goes in threes. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a bit of a, a downer answer, but this is also a legit answer as well. Celeb so death, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, bad luck, it goes yeah. in threes. I'm yeah. still focusing on the fact that when Ben farts, he farts three times. Right? Yeah, right. Concerned. <laughs> I, it's it's like a reserve but tank. If you choose to make it that way, do you like go, oh, that's a third I think he, I think he pushes the. <laughs> I think he pushes the third one. 
<laughs> generally, <laughs> generally the first one's like, right, it's coming. Second one's like a, oh, that's a follow-up. And the third one, you're right, Ross. You do kind of just that's have to like, right, let's, it's let's, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's let's like complete, a, yeah, exactly. Let's boring. complete this hat trick. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do one final question. I'm going to shuffle these cards and uh, Emma, you're going to tell me when to stop and we'll pick the top one. Oh, another three I thought of. Club, like on a card. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm looking at these backs up. Oh, Clover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I've, been, I've no, no, been quite a while, but I didn't know he wants to get buried with a spoon. He farts Not a spoon. He eats food out of bin. These are all just <laughs> yeah. facts that I know no Either, about. Are these signs? Do we need to be concerned? <laughs> I am, I am fine. I am fine. Uh, someone needs to tell me when to stop. Stop. Ah. Right, we have oh. one. Are we ready? Name yes. a yeah. famous Jennifer. So, sorry, say it again. Name a famous Jennifer. Oh, I like this one. Oh, there's a lot. Uh, <laughs> there's, I can think of at least three. Uh, okay, I'll go with this oh. one. Oh. Yeah, you're right. That but the one that I need, I'm gonna have to go with the one that I don't I need. think everyone's gonna pick this one, but I mean, they're all so beautiful. This mm. one, guys, come on! I know you know this one. Right, <laughs> I have, I have ben. written. Come on now, Ben. I have written all three because I know there's three in your mind, and I've written all three. But I've got one as my. As so a... in the last question, what comes in threes? Someone should have written Jennifer. They absolutely should. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so has everyone got oh, an I'm answer? To think of... Oh, yeah, okay, hold on a second. I like, I like that when things get a bit meta, though, because if the questions had been the other way around, and you'd have been like, oh, I know the <laughs> yeah. next question, everyone would have been like, all right, Jennifer? I can like... <laughs> the thing is, right, you... this is my number one. There but you go. could okay, do that, three, right? You would. Yeah. All right. Please, please. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. yeah, see, I put her as number three, the one uh, from Silver Lining. Oh, Playboy. Jennifer Garner, <laughs> yes, you know, of course. I, I was thinking Jennifer Lopez to start with, then I was like, mm, Jennifer yeah. Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. See, because I watched Made in Manhattan the other day for like the millionth time. So I who was, who, who scored there? This week. Right, so good. Yeah, I'm just starting to make more out of the hair. The Russ. Russ. Uh, <laughs> the hair, that classic haircut that everyone <laughs> the, the cow has nothing to do with the, the Lawrence's, uh, of the other uh, Jennifer's. Just, just, just because. I was just thinking, because I, I was thinking the Jennifer Hudson as well. Oh, yeah. I almost wrote Jennifer Hudson too, but I didn't think anybody on, uh, you know, would think that. I was like, Jennifer Love Hewitt, and I was like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's uh, deep on there. It's not as worldwide as um, Aniston and Lopez. Right, exactly. That's, That's why I kind of went that route, but um, yeah, exactly. So, Russ, you <laughs> might be so pleased many. to know you've gone from having the pink cow to having three points. You won our final, final round, so well, well done for having the... Uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you. Oh my god, amazing. Um, well done. That's amazing. The super competitive side of me is pleased. And I came, I came second twice, I so, so fun. suck that, everyone. Too. I think I have the, the pink now. So um, yeah, thanks for for playing. Like I said, like there's so many cards in this game, we probably could have gone on a lot longer. But um, if you guys don't mind, um, we we'll... trophy. Oh, oh, nice. Is, who's the trophy for? What a pig. For for Russ and Ross. Ross and Russ. Do that's, I get? That's because I have the pig. Can you make me a second place trophy, please, Emma? Because that would make me infinitely happy. <laughs> and then you have to sing a Queen song. <laughs> I am the champion. But kind of not. Of this game. Come on. <laughs> You can't, and I and I won't. I used to sing it with my uh, kindergarten students. Farts. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. <laughs> trophy full of three farts. Yes, exactly. Um, um, so I if you guys are, are happy to, to do so. My, a, a backup trophy for being the only one to have the pink cow. Oh, shiver, you were. That's pretty, it's that's pretty impressive. Cute, it's like one of those badges you get on, like, and, and pull a PSN. Because <laughs> exactly. I still would have had it, but... <laughs> Um, right now, I think Ben smells the victory. I see <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the, the victory. I well, I I had fun. Um, it would be really cool to know what you guys personally and then like collectively thought of it. Obviously, I I want this to be an honest opinion. I know it's difficult to kind of just put you guys on the spot. But was well, there anything in that game that kind of stood out to you as different? I don't know. Like, how did you feel that went? That is an amazing. <laughs> component by the way yes squishy just cows squishy like, cows are plus it, like it's so much fun even look look at the like the little udder underneath Aww. excellent I you... know it's, like... it's utterly fabulous oh yeah. excellent um, so obviously as I mean, a as a I, component I, loved game. I, thought it, I, I loved the game i thought it was um 
really easy to, to get into and I can I know that's kind of a big deal when it comes to party games and it's just really easy to teach and I thought that was amazing and then one of the big things I like about games um, is when you feel like you can learn something from people when you're playing <laughs> it especially in party games and I definitely feel like we, we got a lot of information about you Ben give it a thumbs up <laughs> I love. We have it for chits and giggles, thumbs up. Is that a, a currency that we can cash in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, I thought when I was playing it, I was imagining playing it with like people from all like every. every if you played it with lots of different groups, you'd have a different experience, and you'd have mm. to think differently each time. And I think that's yes. really interesting. Like if you're playing with like young kids, or if you're playing with older people, or you're playing people. That uh, you know that you don't know anything about, like like Russ says, you get to learn something about. But also, just trying to anticipate what you think they'll guess is also really a really interesting thing to try and think about. It's an extra thing. It's not just what do I think. It's like what do I think, but what do I think they'll think based on what I think. I think I think you summed it up. There's definitely a, like a, a meta component to this game that yeah. most party games you, you don't generally get like that meta element. Right. So it's quite a quite a fun one. Um, but yeah, thanks for that. Add, uh, dif- like different cultures to that as well. Like, oh, maybe massively. Maybe from the Netherlands and many from yeah. Canada. There's like also right. different uh, parts of the world. And if you play with those people, <coughs> sorry, those people together, then you also have to think like, oh, but what is more common in the UK if, if the mm-hmm. like majority is from the UK? Yeah. Right. Did, how did you? Yeah, actually, was that a challenge for you at all, Emma? Like, did you find like you were thinking, oh, sugar, I'm I'm European. These guys are. From England and Canada, like what what was going through your head when you were writing your answers? Well, no, it, it, it's it's a good thing I've been living in the English bubble for a, a while. But sometimes when like with the months, I was listing them out in Dutch, but then I had to think about the English months. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. Well, yeah. we're we're very glad to have you in our bubble, the English bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you are very welcome here. Uh, what about you, Mandy? So people who listen to the podcast and watch me know that I am not a big fan of party games at all. And it's usually because I find they can get really obnoxious or, you know, offensive sometimes. So like, that's not my thing. And this one, I didn't feel like anybody was judging anybody. You know what I mean? We come from different parts of the world. Everyone had different answers, but we could all kind of have a story and talk about it after everybody wanted to say why they wrote an answer. I wrote this because, and for me that promotes a lot of interactivity and that kind of closeness with a group. And I'm hard to play, for example, a game with because I'm weird. I pick <laughs> answers that nobody else is gonna pick. So my friends would instantly get it, but playing with a group of you, I know you, but I don't know you well enough that you know that I'm weird, right? But we still enjoyed it. And in the current climate that we're in now, this is a game that plays very well virtually. I think it'd be great yeah. in person too, don't get me wrong, but I think this is one that could be played virtually and also, as I was saying before, in a different language. Because I, you know, I live in Canada, it's bilingual, and uh, for me to promote that, I love games like this where I can just change the language and it still works. With kids, I could do something like this or a variation of in the classroom and it would still work. So for okay. me, the versatility of this game is really important. I, I really enjoyed it. And anybody who's watching knows my thoughts on party games. If I say I like it, it's good. <laughs> oh, that, that's very sweet. And like, we, we are super, super appreciative of all of you kind of at different time zones, different places in the in the in the world coming to, to kind of join us for the stream. Like it's been a, a very strange UK Games Expo experience, like for, for loads of different reasons. But like as a as an events manager, like I've really missed being able to have these kind of interactions that you can only really get by playing games and like so yeah, so really, really thankful you guys have uh, have come to join us. Um, I just wanted to say um thanks for doing a great job hosting Ben. Like, Aww, it's, you can really great and um I even watched yesterday's uh, video as well, and I thought like it was really good how you handled the tech issues as well. But so yeah, thank you for that. I, I can't. Uh, that's very very kind. I can't. I can't take all of that credit. We like Nat and her <laughs> oh, well, partner yeah, Elliot yeah, behind the scenes, like well. behind this camera, <laughs> have been working really really hard. But like, I'm sure that extends to to them. So thanks thanks for that. That's really really kind. And before we go, can I just ask you to give the big potato a squeeze from me? Yeah. This, this is- guy <laughs> got like. Oh, he's so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so squishy. It is so warm, so squishy, and yeah, I'm very, very proud of my my big potato. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, have you guys are doing anything more for UK Games Expo? Or are you turn this computer off, chucking it out the window, and you're done for the weekend? Or is there stuff for you to kind of tie up and look at? I think it's done after this. Yeah. Yeah. Is when it technically ends. Yeah. Of course, so but this I'm... will be the last thing of the show. This is my 
ninth and final stream of the UK Games Expo. Wow. Weekend, so. That's, that's, uh, that's impressive. Wow. That is impressive. It's been a trip. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Cool. Uh, we're going to end the stream. Like, stay on the line and we'll we'll have a quick quick chat. Um, sure. But thank you so much, guys. Well done. Bye. Bye. Bye.